Howard, Mark, <laughs> Lewis backstage, Robbie, just one kiss, and then Gary, we love your music. <laughs> <laughs> he said it himself. Well, he's being praised for a lot more than his music these days, Mother Girls. But uh, before we meet him, just a reminder of the Barlow Breaks. Love it has so many beautiful faces. Share lives and share and death. My love it has so many empty spaces. I'm sharing them every now. I hope that's how it stays. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Great yeah. times. We, we, we actually we had to take that on this programme right at the beginning when you were just beginning to in make Liverpool. it really big. And we were right, in yeah. Liverpool we were and we were away, so we never met you. And we felt like really fed up about that. But now <laughs> we've met Mark now and now it's yeah. you, so we're getting through you. Um, you look fantastic. Thank and you. The great. record sounds great. I mean, what. It's only the second one, though, that you've done since the band second split. Single. Second is. single. Yes. Why does it all take so long? You know, albums usually take about a year to make. It was only in the past, because Take That were obviously a young band. We needed to keep mm. on making albums Driving all the time. Album, yeah. and, and, and it was always stuck into the promotional schedule. Like, it was just, you mm. know, a day's work almost. And mm. it's, been a, it's been a pleasure to be able to take a year out and actually mm. enjoy to write music and enjoy to record it rather than it being part of an itinerary. Yeah. To actually look forward to going into the studio is a much better way of working. Yeah. I can see that. So, so what is your sort of working week then, really? I mean, what do you do? Do you sort of just give yourself time and space to think of lyrics and, uh, and melodies? I do all that, really, before I go into the studio. You know, you probably don't realise, but no. we, we work late when we're in recording studios. So yeah. this is our breakfast TV. <laughs> 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 and we're, always, we're always asking musicians what they do with themselves between records because I suppose it's a bit like us if we go out at night and somebody, somebody, somebody will come out and say, um, what's your proper job? <laughs> really? That's right, right. But what I mean is, do you, I mean, like, like not a lot of novelists say that it doesn't, they don't have, they can't wait for the muse to come upon them. They have to sit down, piece of paper in the typewriter or on the word processor and go and yeah. just get writing and then gradually things will flow. Do you have that discipline? Do you know, I, I'm not one of those people who wake up in the middle of the night and all of a sudden <laughs> you've got a line of music or something. I need to be in the environment of music and yeah. sit at the piano and write like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very musically based the way yeah. I write. Right. It's were you were you very upset when the band split? I think you were, weren't you? I mean, you. I think we all were. Yeah. We were all because su such a <laughs> such a big part of our life had been devoted to our career as Take That. Yeah. Mm. And um, of course, when when anything that's been so phenomenal like that, and it mm. was such a bonding experience those five years were. Mm. Mm. I mean, I, I haven't I've never met people like them before in my life who I know so well, and it's mm. almost like a language you speak when you're together. Sure. Um, so, of course, to, to have all that security now taken away is, yeah. is a weird thing. And but was there, there a relief to it as well? I mean, th there must have been the thought, well, actually, yes, A, I can start to create with a bit more space and time, but also I can get off a, a particular treadmill. I mean, there mm. must have been an immediate advantages. Well, I think when you're in a group like Take That, which are obviously very high profile, the clock's ticking from day one. As soon as you've had a hit, the clock's ticking. Because When's the next one? Yeah. Exactly. Mm. And, and when is it going to be? When are you going to go in at when number 39 flop? instead of number one? You yeah, know what I mean? There's yeah. always that. And I hope now it'll be a lot more relaxed than that because, yes. you know, no one can go in at number one forever. No. Yeah. I know all the fanzines ask you this, but it's relevant. I mean, are you still friends with most of the band? Mm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I mean, uh, Howard was always my best friend throughout the, the band. Jason lives about ten minutes away from me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I see Mark dotting about because also he's, he's well, out promoting his own album as well now. And Mark, so. Mark's up in the Lakes, actually. Yes. He lives in, and, and you live in Cheshire. That's right. So it's not, not, not that great yeah. a distance. Where did you used to live? We used to live in Didsbury. Right. Yeah, in and Manchester. Salafield, near yeah. Russia, before that. Are you from Manchester originally? Or? No, I was from a place called Frodsham. Oh, in right. Cheshire. Oh, in Cheshire. Cheshire. Yeah. That's right, yeah. And uh, live about four miles away now. Right. Um, yeah, right. But it's, it's great because what's, what's, what's amazing about this job is it's, it's brilliant while you're on the road, but you mm. also need that oasis away, mm. I think, from London and where it's all going on. You just need to get away from it all and, mm. and go home to, to your family. Well, and that's what Marty Pellow and, and the boys from what went always have always said. Mm. You know, they've always wanted to stay living up in Scotland because mm. you know that's where that's where the roots are. That's where mm. they feel happy and comfortable. That's again where they create best. Yes, mm. they've yeah. always said that. You um, you, you I mean you are you you are the sort of seen as the musical one, the the songwriter. But actually, this this new one that you're singing for us at the end of the show mm. was actually written for Madonna, wasn't it, or by Madonna? Yes, that's right. Now yeah. that's because like rather like um. 
rather like Glen Campbell that we were speaking to a few minutes ago. You're very, very good on ballads, mm. big ballads. That's mm. what you like, really, yes. isn't it? Yeah. And this one, you felt it needed a more up-tempo I think feel. if you look back through uh, our history as a band, it was always the up-tempo numbers that we always had to cover because it's mm. so difficult to write a fast song for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, Only Takes a Minute Go, Could It Be Magic, Relight My Fire, they're all up-tempo songs. All covers. Yeah. Mm. yeah, so I, when I've finished sort of writing all the songs I write for an album, it's always very ballad-heavy, and I then look for the next couple of months to find up-tempo tracks. Now, why thought. do you think you can't write an up-tempo number? Or maybe you will um, one day, but what's I think, the is there a barrier in your head? I think it's whatever inspirates you to write a song, and to mm. be honest, I was brought through all my life enjoying music, Elton John, George Michael. I was going to say, you, you have strong similarities that's to it. George Michael, don't and, you? Yeah. And I think that sticks with you, and you're most natural. If you're, mo if you're most comfortable listening to music like that, obviously you, it's most natural to write music that's like that. That's how you express yourself musically. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, on the, the, the day, well, the day after the news broke that the band was splitting, you, you will of course remember all the inno endless stories in the papers and on, in the media saying that uh, they were going to be like Valentino-type suicides. And we did a phone-in, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, we did a phone-in, and we had the most girls. extraordinary phone calls. Not just from teenage girls, but from, from their, their mothers. mothers. Their mothers. <laughs> right. Saying they could not face, it was extremely extraordinary, yeah. they couldn't face life without the band. Now, clearly they have. There weren't any suicides as far as I know. Were you surprised by the, the, the tremendous outpouring of grief, you know? Not at all, um, because, I mean, we, we, we see the fans a lot at the mm. airport and mm. wherever we go, and they're very, very passionate. Mm -hmm. I think um, my, I have a bit of a philosophy on why I feel very lucky and very pri privileged to be um, obviously given this talent to write and record mm. music and um, I, I think we're all given talents to benefit other people mm. and I get letters every week that say we really enjoy your music we'd love to see you on TV mm -hmm. and as long as I'm doing that for people I'll always be around mm. Mm. performing and doing interviews and stuff mm. like that mm. and is it is it nice being a heartthrob now because you, d you did say at the back you always felt that you were the one stuck at the back. <laughs> oh I don't know yes, you, oh, thought, you, you have worked hard on uh, on all of that haven't you and you Loads of fans waiting for you outside when we arrived, I can tell you. So, um, Who you went to know? see, I gather. You popped out another time. I did, yeah. 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 I came back words. in one piece. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah but Julie's right, you did work at that. You worked at the image a bit. I mean, you know, it's part of the deal, part of the package. Do you it? know, I think now I'm on my own, I've got to evaluate what I've got. Mm. And yeah. of course, p people really go on diets and, and do exercises to make themselves feel better. I know I do. Mm. Mm -hmm. and, and I feel more confident now. You know, I don't have to stand at, at the back being embarrassed to be photographed. I feel very confident like this, right. so that's why, how I want to stay. Mm. That makes I'm sense. I'm sure you will. Mm. Listen, really nice to meet you. Thank you very At long much. long last. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and and the, the, the new single, which is released today, mm -hmm. is called Love, Love Won't, Won't Wait, Wait. Yeah. and you're singing that for us at the end of the show. Great. Good. Can't, Can't wait, wait to hear it. Brilliant. Nice Thank you nice very much. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Best of luck in the future. Thank you. Okay, meanwhile, we're taking a quick break. We're back in a couple of minutes with the phone-in on Lying. We'll see you then. <laughs> to the end of the line and you've wasted up 